what can I say, right? Uh, I, I can't tell you how much these remarks from all the people that I have such respect for have said tonight. I didn't know how much I would enjoy this. I mean, I think we should just keep it going, you know? <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. And when I look out there and see all of you, you just have to know it means so much to me. And it includes people who were there when I ran for judge. They were part of the campaign. They went door to door. I've talked to several of them tonight. All the way through my, my journey on the bench, the lawyers, the, the good friends, the family, and we taught the foundation, Cheryl tonight made it clear that that was so important to me as it is to many of you. So the whole thing has just been wonderful. But, but I want to, can I explain to you one little thing? I figured out why I like being a judge so much. And it came to me a little late, but it, it is true. In other words, I always loved the law. I loved being a lawyer. But there was something about the role I played that I wasn't quite comfortable with. So when Henry Conlon suggested I run for judge, I gave it some thought and talked to Bob, and we, it would sound like a pretty good idea. So, but my, what I want to tell you is that it's the trio. And as we know, we had a wonderful trio tonight three wonderful musicians. And the reason that I had such a nice, nice journey is the trio. And let me tell you why. I figured it out. When I was born, I was born into a family of three girls. And my sisters are here tonight. I'm going to have them stand up in a minute. Um, we three girls moved around the country a lot as we grew up. And before we got to know real people, we would spend time with each other. And we were... <laughs> We were very close as a result of that, and I loved being with the two of them. The three of us, it just felt so, so good. So, a little story, when my sister was old enough to date, I would overhear her talking about, with her girlfriends, about dating, and it sounded pretty good to me, but I thought, you know, I don't want to go out with just one boy, I'd like to go out with two, because I thought, I thought the trio would be good. Now. <laughs> You, you have to understand, it was not a menage a trois I was talking about. <laughs> because I was only 10 years old. So. But anyway, it was the trio. And then I, my life went along. As Cheryl alluded to tonight, I dropped out of school in, in, at U of M for a year and a half. I went to work at a bank, and primarily because the loan officers needed a third, part of a trio, for their cutthroat euchre game every day. So for a year and a half, I was part of that trio. Life goes on. There was one major exception. I had this really cool duet for 45 years with Bob Moore. But I figured that out too. I thought, why did that duet work so well? And I know why, because no matter how off key life was at times, he could always harmonize. And so as a judge, I know why I've loved it. And that is, and the other judges here tonight, by the way, who I haven't even acknowledged, I've danced with them, but I haven't acknowledged them. <laughs> they will vouch for this as well. That is, there is no better day than when you spend the day in court with two good attorneys. Plaintiff's attorney, defense attorney, prosecutor, criminal defense attorney. It's a wonderful day. So it's the trio. Okay? In my own chambers, I have a trio. My two colleagues, Louise and Marcotti, Joe Beating, were a trio. And we work. It works. So what I want to tell you all is that it's been a wonderful journey, and now, after a long time with my duet, I'm back to a trio. And I have a trio, my two sisters, Mary and Judy, who, would you please stand up, just so... Yeah. And my two daughters, Molly and Melissa, who you met earlier. And just one final remark, and that is a, 
a more literary and more colorful colleague than I, the other day, said an expression that I really found I liked, and that is, he talked about the thankful heart. And I have a thankful heart. And I want to thank all of you and the executive director of this organization and production, Judith Moskus, who did so much, Chief Judge Shelton, and all of you who are here mean so much to me. Thank you. Back to the trio. The music will play and the bar will be open until 8.30. Enjoy yourselves and come say hi to Melinda.